Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. It's your girl Morgan or Amy. I'm back again with the part two of my last video, which I talked about domestic violence. So today I'll actually continue from where I stopped. And before I even start, I'd like to say a shout out to all those that viewed my video and commented and liked and subscribed. Excuse me, please. Thank you very much. I'm very, 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 very grateful. Um, a lot of people had a lot to say to me about the video. Mm, mostly through white text though and other social media outlets. And I got one thing. Majority of the guys were asking how is it possible that a guy who grew up in a domestic violent environment or a, a guy who grew up knowing that yeah his mom was always being beaten up by his dad then how is it possible that he would go up to become a woman beater wouldn't he use that as like a landmark to learn from that and say okay this is what my mother went through and i would definitely not be that kind of person yes um yes i know because most times people are creature of habit and violence is a cycle like if you have been a victim of violence there's a very big tendency almost 99 percent that you also be violent it's a, like a psychological thing i'm not a psychologist but studies have proven so because most times you find out that people who live in toxic environment like that tend to become toxic themselves because they don't know better they don't actually know better like a guy who grew up in a home where his dad always beat his mom has that tendency most times he grows up and beats his girlfriend his wife because he knows no better do you understand there was no training there was no one to guide him because the person that is supposed to guide him which is his father is committing that atrocity you cannot preach what you don't practice do you understand if you are preaching and you're not practicing it is it's false or should i say is void of truth so you can't preach what you cannot practice do you understand if you are preaching what you're not practicing that's nonsense then as for the women most times girls have seen that one firsthand that girls who are from um, homes that their mom were abused most times i have friends so i can say that one. most times they have this tendency of having severe inferiority complex because they always were afraid in their father's house in their home where they grew up they were always afraid that they, this was a man who was supposed to protect you they were supposed to guide you, you were supposed to shelter you, you were supposed to ward off people who were against you this was the same man that would turn around and beat your mom and you cannot defend your mother you can only cry you watch such things happen you can only cry only and those women i'm sorry to say but those women did wrong by keep staying in that relationship and this will not give the females or their daughters that ideology that it will not give them that ideology that leaving the man is the right thing instead they will see when the mom always is telling them i'm doing this because of you it's because of you i'm staying here it's because of you it's because of you it's because of you guys even not for you guys ho 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 and at the end of the day when such a girl should get up and get married she would always see it as if i was to yell at her she would just clamp up like oh my god like she's always timid you know because she can't defend herself because she doesn't know better her mom never gave her that orientation that standing up for yourself it's the right thing to do so they accept such abuse so what are we saying um uh, one of my viewers commented on my video and she brought out a very valid point when she said that if you want to check it go and check my um the previous video on the comment section you see someone said that one of the reasons also why people stay in toxic relationships like that especially marriages like that is because they are financially dependent on the men and this is something this is even going to be another topic on its own but this is something women should tend to understand that 
you have to have your own money you cannot go into marriage depending that your husband is going to be the hundred percent of everything because when such issues are, arise the man knows you cannot leave him because you are his bread and butter sorry i mean he's your bread and butter he is your bread and butter he's the reason right now for your existence in that marriage so leaving him is not an option obviously it's not an option so when a man has ascertained that domineering personality he will keep on trembling on your pride on your stake as a woman a man that knows that you ask him for money for food money for groceries that's money for food money for your clothing money for your hair money for your toiletries money for literally everything for the kids for yourself everything you don't work or even if you work that as in you should always have some kind of need for yourself as a woman never be hundred percent dependent on a man because that is when their ego will be like one million like three thousand because they now know oh we tell me this woman cannot live this lifestyle i provide and most times you even find out that the people that even go through this domestic violence majority of them are from homes that are actually well to do like they actually have money well it's so sad i and another thing is our government we need to really work on our government because um rights of women in this country is so it's down the drain because most times the right of a woman is trampled you hear statements like mm, no be woman oh uh, they'll just discard women i don't understand like sometimes i'm like seriously what's going on nigeria should try and change the way they view women the way they treat women i understand that the government is working on so many things but at least they should try and put their eye on women domestic violence assault our government should put their eyes on women because women are going through a lot excuse me please from sexual assault to domestic violence even this domestic violence even extends outside you see all these people who have um how do i put it um there's this word i'm looking for people of the force for instance a soldier you see a so you saw something on the internet of a soldier beating up a woman who does that like there should be a law that if you hit a woman you'll be jailed like that is a law protecting women that's where women will know their rights seriously if you assault a woman you'll be jailed or you will pay a fine not the one that they'll just let it go anyhow anyhow any kind of behavior is acceptable by the country really then what are we saying so many things like so many things with time i'm going to talk about so many things so many things that actually are trampling on women's right it's not right it's not fair we are actually humans then for the single ladies who are in toxic relationships and are exposed to such domestic violence if i may say really really like i don't understand you are single but your boyfriend is beating you up like you're not married to this guy and you allow him consistently batter you like a dog really to come to think of it i don't understand how does it work a guy beats you you take that how does that work i don't understand and you say it will change you keep hiding his, his flaws his ridiculous animalistic side you keep defending him and praising him wherever your friends are oh my boyfriend is the bomb oh he bought me this hair oh he... hello they are, those girls are the ones that end up getting killed in their marriages yes i said he killed now they're dead adios gone because i see no reason why if a man is not even married to girl, when you come talking even marriage now we're having problem in marriages that are toxic like that but 
I understand that marriage is, you have a lot at stake. Your children, your home that you've been building yet. But this one, you are dating a guy is beating you. Hello? Think for yourself. Get out of that toxic relationship because if you don't, he will kill you one day. It's a given. It's certain. It is going to happen. Love knows love. The, the thing about love is love is not cruel. Love is not wicked. Love is not evil. A man that beats you is an evil man and that man does not love you. A man that undermining in fact he will cry and beg you. You say it's his weakness. Like, girls, what up? Why would you be dating a guy that beats you up? In this modern time, in this exposed generation that we're at, like, who does that? I, I, wait. Love? I don't know. I don't know. It's like, sometimes the definition of love for some people may be different from my own definition of love. You understand? You get my point? For me, love is everything. Love is selfless. Love is sweet. Love is that tingly feeling you have when you see your number one person. Love isn't bruised eye, broken jaw, fractured, fractured, fractured ribs. Oh my God, Lord, Lord Jesus! Like I can't like the spirits. Like seriously, I can't with it because I don't get it. I see a lot of young girls. And they are like, oh, first and foremost, you won't even know because that's where number one shame comes in. They won't want to tell you what's going on with them. You know, your friends will just be stunting with you. My boyfriend is the best boyfriend in the whole wide world. My brother, my boyfriend, hmm. he took me shopping. Uh, we went on this trip together. Oh, uh, he did this for me. Oh, uh, he that, did that for me. And I'm like, okay was good but later you will not find out like this girl most times she's always quiet it's always on her own thinking what's up what's good i thought ah, what is this up what is this up you'll not find out that this girl has actually been severely battered by this guy beaten to a pop but she's trying to hide it because she's ashamed of herself she's like Oh my god what people say oh my god what people say fuck people to hell with people my dear if you're doing your thing people will talk if you're not even doing your thing people will talk if you are winning people will talk if if you are i think you cannot please people you have to live your life and if your life is outside that boy fine to hell with him. A guy that beats a woman is not worth your time, is not worth your money, is not worth your emotions, is not worth anything. You know? He's not the kind of person you should be doing a ride and die for this or ride or that. This is my ride or that. He's not your ride or that. He's your die, yo. But not your ride or that, but he's your die. Like, he will end up eventually get you killed. Like, I don't understand. I don't get it. Like, I guess sometimes some of them said they don't leave the guy because of money. Like, oh, this guy is. Providing me with this lifestyle, I cannot do without it. Like, seriously? Would you rather be in that lifestyle and be getting blue eyes, green eyes, purple eyes, whatever color of eyes you want to have that day? Because no more contact. You'll be having a bruised eye or poor soap. Like, seriously, girls should start thinking for themselves. They should not allow society to dictate to them. Because sometimes you will see a girl is stuck in a relationship because she feels she's too old. Oh my God, my friends are getting married. They were able to catch this one. And as they were able to grab this guy, this guy ends up to be a woman beater and be like, if I leave him now, I'll start over, over again. With... I rather start all over again with another person that's staying in that toxic kind of relationship and end up get, getting killed or end up watching that cycle repeat itself in my children's life. Uh uh, it ain't happening to me. Girls need to wisen up. This world was not only built for men, it's also built for women. So women should start getting it that apart from the fact they say a woman was meant to a woman was not meant to have any man, please. We are meant to stand beside each other. I'm not like shading anything, but it's the truth. I, I hate that statement. It's a man's world, it's a man's world. Men dictate what's happened. Fuck mm. Mm. I have never been abused in my life, I swear to God. And I can only imagine being abused by someone I truly 
really really love like someone i've invested my life with and it's crazy the other thing i always say is be careful and girls be wise don't allow your emotion cloud your judgment don't allow your emotions dictate your life because sometimes you have to take charge of your emotion and say okay this is what i want for myself this is this this is that and stay true to who you are if you're not that kind of person that would ever allow a man to do you wrong like that and you end up finding yourself in that situation don't settle be true to who you are it's your girl any man bye ya people my next video is gonna be the bomb take care love you